time. Thank you, Senator Blunt. Next up, Senator Durbin. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um, uh, no. If you've messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that may be what this is all about. Your right to privacy, the limits of your right to privacy, and how much you give away in modern America in the name of, quote, connecting people around the world. The question, basically, of um, what information Facebook's collecting, who they're sending it to, and whether they were asked in advance my permission to do that. Is that a fair thing for a user of Facebook to expect? Yes, Senator. I think everyone should have control over how their information is used. And as we've talked about in, in some of the other questions, I think that that is laid out in, in some of the documents. But more importantly, you want to give people control in the product itself. So the most important way that this happens across our services is that every day people come to our services to choose to share photos or send messages. And every single time they choose to share something, um, they're they have a control right there about who they want to share it with. But they that level of control is extremely important. They certainly know within the Facebook pages who their friends are, but they may not know, as has happened, and you've conceded this point in the past, that sometimes that information is going way beyond their friends, and sometimes people have made money off of sharing that information. Correct? Senator, you're referring, I think, to our developer platform. Um, and it may be useful for me to give some background on how we set that up, if that's useful. I have three minutes left, so maybe you can do that for the record, because I have a couple of the questions I'd like to ask. You have recently announced uh, something that is called um, Messenger Kids. Facebook created an app allowing kids between the ages of 6 and 12 to send video and text messages through Facebook as an extension of their parents' account. You have cartoon-like stickers and other features designed to appeal to little kids, first graders, kindergartners. On January 30th, the Campaign for Commercial Free Childhood and lots of other child development organizations warned Facebook. They pointed to a wealth of research demonstrating that excessive use of digital devices and social media is harmful to kids and argued that young children simply are not ready to handle social media accounts at age six. In addition, there are concerns about data that's being gathered about these kids. Now, there are certain limits in the law, we know. There's the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. What guarantees can you give us that no data from messenger kids is or will be collected or shared with those that might violate that law? All right, Senator, so a number of things I think are, are important here. The background on Messenger Kids is we heard feedback from thousands of parents that they want to be able to stay in touch with their kids and call them, use apps like FaceTime um, when they're working late or not around and want to communicate with their kids, but they want to have complete control over that. So I think we can all agree that if you're, when your kid is six or seven, even if they have access to a phone, you want to be able to control everyone who they can contact. And there wasn't an app out there that did that. So we built this service to do that. The app collects a minimum amount of information um, that is necessary to operate the service. So for example, the messages that people send um, is something that we collect in order to operate the service. But um, in general, that data is not going to be shared with third parties. Um, it is not connected to um, the broader Facebook experience. Excuse me. Uh, as a lawyer, I picked up on that word in general, that phrase in general. It seems to suggest that in some circumstances, it will be shared with third parties. No. It will not. All right. Um, would you be open to the idea that someone having reached adult age, having grown up with messenger kids, should be allowed to delete the data that you've collected? Senator, yes. As a matter of fact, when you become 13, which is our legal limit, our limiter, we, we don't allow people under the age of 13 to use Facebook, um, you don't automatically go from having a Messenger Kids account to a Facebook account. You have to start over and get a Facebook account. So, um, so I think it's a, it's a good idea to consider making sure that all that information is deleted. And in general, people are going to be starting over when they get their, their Facebook or other. 
I'll close because I just have a few seconds. Illinois has a Biometric Information Privacy Act, our state does, which is to regulate the commercial use of facial, voice, finger, and iris scans and the like. We're now in a fulsome debate on that, and I'm afraid Facebook has come down to the position trying to carve out exceptions to that. I hope you'll fill me in on how that is consistent with protecting privacy. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Durbin. Senator Cornyn. 